Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Francesco Galla, and I'll be presenting this tool paper on behalf of the research team composed of Elvio Amparore, Susanna Donatelli, and me. The tool we are going to talk about is a model checker which supports LTL, CTL, and CTL star temporal logics. It does so by converting each LTL proposition to a Buki automaton, and then by using decision diagrams to encode both the Petronet model and the automata generated in this fashion. This model checker is integrated with the Greater Sapien framework, which is an open source toolset for modeling and analyzing Petrinets, which is capable of supporting various dialects of nets and to perform reachability analysis using symbolic techniques, again with the help of decision diagrams. The tool we are going to present is called RGMED Star and introduces LTL and CTL star support to Greater Sapien. Our approach to model checking is the computation of the set of state satisfying a temporal logic formula when provided with a formal model. This model is a Petrinet or the equivalent Kripke representation of its reachability graph, while the formula is usually described using one of the three temporal logics. For those who are not familiar with temporal logics, the relationships between LTL and CTL is summarized in this Venn diagram. As you can see, LTL, which uses a linear time concept, is capable of expressing some properties, such as fairness assumption, which are not expressible in CTL. On the contrary, computational tree logic, which is a branching logic, is uh, capable of expressing some properties of possibility, which LTL cannot express. CTL star is a superset of the two logics. CTL star grammar is made of state formulas and path formulas. State formulas include tautologies, atomic propositions, conjunction of state formulas, and the branching path quantifier exists and always. While path formulas include state formulas in a recursive way, the conjunction of path formulas and the temporal operators commonly found in LTL. Note that this recursive definition allows us to arbitrarily nest state and path formulas, thus allowing us to express properties which were not expressible not, nor in LTL and neither in CTL. The work related to this thesis is made of other CTL star model checkers, which can be either based on Buki automata, but we couldn't find found any, we only found LTL model checkers, or based on the translation between CTL star and MuCalculus, and then using the standard fixed point iteration of MuCalculus to compute the set of states satisfying a CTL star proposition. Those tools are LTS min and TINA. While we use some libraries, which proved to be very useful in developing our program, Medley provides multi-value decision diagrams and their variations, while Spot2 provides an efficient framework for manipulating Buki Automata and converting LTL propositions to Buki Automata. We start by giving an architectural definition of our model checker and describing some of its component. Then we move on to describing the testing procedure we use to validate our program and draw some conclusions. Let us start by providing an example on how state and path formulas can be nested inside an arbitrary CTL star formula. Let's consider proposition C1. C1 can be interpreted as an existentially quantified path formula, and the path formula is not a terminal symbol, so we are going to descend and find that this path formula contains a, maxim contains a maximal proper state subformula, which is C2. C2 is a non-terminal symbol which is made of one terminal atomic proposition A1 and another non-terminal state formula C3. So we descend again and we find another, this time universally quantified path formula. We descend again and we find that this path formula is made of two terminal symbols, globally and another atomic proposition. Now we found only terminal symbols, we stop and we start evaluating from the bottom of the parse tree and then combining our, the set of states satisfying each proposition until we reach C1 again. This example shows the foundation of our CTL star model checking approach, which is built around nested quantified path formulas. 
Now, when given an arbitrary GTL star formula phi, we recursively replace all maximal proper state subformulas psi k with a label, and we obtain an LTL path formula phi e, for which we can generate the subset, and then we can evaluate that subset based on its prefixing quantifier, which can be exist or always. Recall that LTL assumes path formula to be universally quantified. This means that, for a proposition to be true, it must be true for every possible computation of our program. Now, with CTL star, we are considering existential LTL. Thus, we are treating each path formula as existentially quantified, and when we find a path formula which is universally quantified, we first have to invert it by translating the negated formula to Buki, and then the subset is going to be the difference between the whole set of states of the reachability graph of our model minus the set of states satisfying not phi. We are now ready to describe the set of uh, building blocks composing our program. As you can see, our model checker is made of a parser and an extractor of maximal proper state subformulas, which have been described in the previous example. Then, for each path formula generated, it is translated to a bouquet automaton using the spot true library, and then it is encoded through a symbolic procedure using the decision diagram to compose a synchronous product, which is then given to an LTL model checker, which generates the set of states over a model M which satisfies the path formula phi. This set of states is then combined with the other set of states generated by this procedure to build the final result of our model checking step. So the first of the blocks we haven't described yet is the translator between LTL and Buki. This translation procedure is exponential in time and is not something we wanted to build our own. So we relied to the SPOT2 open source library, which is capable of generating a non-deterministic booty automaton in a format which is easy to parse. This translation is necessary because we can consider both the automaton M and the formula phi as booty automata. We can then compose them to generate a synchronous product, which is another booty automaton, which accepts only the computations defined by the formula phi. The synchronous product is symbolically encoded using a procedure which starts from our model and our automaton and generates a transition system using decision diagrams. We start by encoding the automaton representing the reachability graph of the PetriNet as a reachability set of states and a transition relation which we are going to call next state function. We again give the algorithm BLTS the automaton represented in the Anoi Omega Automata format, and the encoded model. And we generate another transition relation, which includes the location of the automaton, a set of final states, and the set of initial states, which are not shown here. We then apply a saturation procedure to generate the reachability set of our transition system from the next state function and the initial state, and we use this reachability set, the next state function, and the final states to generate the set of states satisfying the proposition phi over the model M. In general, finding the accepting states of a bouquet automaton represented in symbolic domain requires uh, enumerating its strongly connected component or an application of the emerson lay algorithm of, or one of its variations. The Emerson Lay algorithm is a double nested fixed point iteration and thus is quadratic in the size of a transition system. We can use structural properties of the transition system itself to decrease the complexity bound of this computation. For example, if our transition system is a weak Buki automaton, then it is sufficient to apply two CTL computations one after the other while if our transition system is a terminal bouquet automaton, it is sufficient to apply one single fixed-point iteration to obtain the set of states satisfying a uh, proposition. Thanks to this classification, we can lower the complexity of the model checking step from quadratic, in the case of Emerson Lay, in the size of the transition system, to linear in case of weak and terminal bouquet automaton in the sides of the transition system. 
Our GTL Star Model Checker can be used from the graphical interface of the Great Sapien Editor or directly from the command line. And, and a demonstration will be available in this conference. Now, let us describe the testing phases we've used to validate our program. We defined three testing phases. The first one is a validation phase in which we compare our result with known results on CTL and LTL formulas. The second one is a comparison between a model checker which is purely CTL and was previously included in Greatest APN and this CTL star model checker. The third one is a timed comparison over CTL star formulas between our tool and an external tool, which in this case is LTS min. The validation phase and the comparison phases uses the model set and the formula set of the model checking contest. The models are real world petri nets and the formulas are divided into different examinations for which the categories which interest us are LTL cardinality, LTL variability, CTL cardinality, and CTL variability. Note that the model checking contest does not include any CTL star proposition yet. But for each examination, we have 16 formulas or queries, and each query is provided with a Boolean expected result, true or false, which should match the result of our tool. For the validation phase, we chose a large set of models and a large set of formulas. Of all the formulas completed, only one mismatch was found and we assume this was due to a wrong assignment of its expected result. We assume this because our tool agrees with other uh, programs on the same examination while the expected result tells us the opposite. Since we are satisfied with the results of the validation phase, we move on to the second testing phase which compares the output of the previous ErgMed model checker, which is a pure CTL model checker, with the current RGMED star, which, is, which performs CTL through LTL model checking. Of all the queries completed, we found no mismatching results, and we found the CTL model checker to be faster than the CTL star 1 in most of the cases, and we haven't yet found an answer regarding those 8% of cases in which the CTL star model checker was faster than the CTL 1. We are now ready to describe the third phase of our testing procedure, which involves an external tool. LTS mean supports CTL star model checking through its conversion to MU calculus and then applies the standard MU calculus iteration to find the set of states satisfying the given CTL star proposition. LTS mean is an open source tool which is developed by the University of Twent. To compare LTS mean with RGMED star, we first had to validate LTS mean all the, on the queries of the model checking contest, and we did so by uh, performing the same validation procedure we did in phase one of our testing. Then we compared the output of RGMED star against LTS mean on CTL star queries, which were generated by removing some of the quantifiers from the CTL formulas of the model checking contest. For these queries, we didn't have any expected result, so we limited our comparison to a time comparison, and we found RGMED star to be faster than LTS mean in most of the cases. We attribute this difference in performance to the conversion between CTL star and MuCalculus, which is performed by LTS mean. To our knowledge, that conversion is an heavy computational process, and RGMED star, by avoiding it, is able to solve queries faster. Here we are showing two scatter plots which detail phase 2 and phase 3 of our testing procedure. Phase 2 is shown on the left. As you can see the comparison between RGMED3 and RGMED star is based on blue dots which are queries. Queries which are below the red line are those for which RGMED3 was slower than RGMED star. Queries which are above the red line are those for which RGMED star was slower than RGMED3. As you can see, the majority of the queries are above the red line. The same applies to the plot to the right, which details phase 3 of our testing procedure. As you can see, there are few blue dots below the red line and those for which RGMED star was lower than RTS mean, while the majority of the que queries are above the red line and are those for which RTS mean was lower than RGMED star. We can draw some conclusion from our testing phase. Edgemed star 
is the only software we know of which supports CTL start directly through the conversion of LTL to Bookie Automata. Ultimate Star shown competitive performance on the results of MCC 2018 and when tested against other tools. It was reasonably easy to integrate it in Greatest PN thanks to the libraries we mentioned before, Medley and Spot. And with Ergmed Star, we are finally adding LTL and CTL Star support to the Greatest PN framework. Yet it remains some work to be done. The first point we want to make is that CTL star model checking is an unexplored field and thus we need more CTL star formulas which are possibly associated with an expected result to test and debug our tool. For this reason we hope MCC organizer will consider including CTL star in future edition of the model checking contest. The second point is the user bait deadlock treatment which we'll need because there are some differences between the semantics adopted by CTL during the model checking contest and LTL during the model checking contest. Now, to avoid this problem, we want users to be able to select the appropriate semantics when choosing a query to be model checked directly from the graphical user interface. The third objective is to build fair CTL, which is uh, possible thanks to the Emerson Lay algorithm, which we shown before. And the fourth point is the generation of witnesses and counterexample connected to CTL star formulas, which is a non-trivial task due to the context which, which uh, applies when having nested path formulas, all of which must be checked separately. At last, thank you for your time.